Hey, what's going on guys? Justin Nelson here. I create all the content on Happy Fox Productions YouTube channel. And today we're going to be going over a quick After Effects tutorial on how to do 3D camera tracking. Now, this is actually a pretty simple and straightforward effect, but the whole reason I want to show you guys is because once you learn how to do it, there's an infinite amount of possibilities you can implement this effect into your videos and create even cooler shots. Even if they're not visual effects heavy, you can do so much with this and it is crazy. And I feel like there's not enough tutorials on this on the, on the internet. So, you know, why not go through and show one? So before I jump into it, I just want to say, if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a lot more tips and tricks on there if you guys want to learn how to do cinematic color grading, because we all know cinematic color grading is how you get the ladies. And more cinematic color grading and yeah, that's about it. No, I'm just kidding. There's other tutorials on there. Please feel free to check it out and subscribe if you would like to. But anyways, enough self-advertising. Let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna import my footage. We have some drone footage right here that I recorded at a local skate park. And what I'm gonna go on ahead and do is find the shot that I wanna do a 3D camera track on. Let's see, something that has, ooh, this shot, this looks kinda cool. And then we're gonna hit Alt, close bracket. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this, drag it into a new composition. And here we are in our new composition. So we have this footage, it is 4K footage from the DJI Phantom 4. And it is a simple shot. Funny thing is, I was like two miles away when I filmed this too, that's pretty cool. I mean, this video isn't about drones, but I mean, you guys gotta admit, these drones are getting pretty high tech these days, not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and hit effects. Oh, we already have tint in there. Why are you in there, tint? You, you don't belong here, you're not in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and hit uh, camera tracker, and then hit perspective, and then let's do a 3D camera track. Alrighty, well this is obviously going to take a minute, so, um, you know, normally I cut this part out of the tutorial, you know, where you got to do the boring stuff, like wait for stuff to analyze, but no, not this time. Uh, so what's going on, guys? Any cool stuff happening lately? Please feel free to comment in the comments below if you guys have some cool news. Did you guys ask out that girl, or if you're a girl watching this, did you ask out that guy you liked, or vice versa? Did you guys um, watch Finding Dory? This is the thing about visual effects, you know, when you gotta wait for stuff to happen, you're just chilling by yourself. Normally I'd go grab a, I'd go grab a glass of water, or I would like go mess with my cats or something, but it's weird because since it's only a minute, it's like I don't, I don't feel obligated to get up and go do anything. It's like, I, just, I might as well just sit here, be a lazy bum, just kinda, you know, sit my, sit my butt on the chair and not go anywhere, but then it's like, now I got a whole minute of, to myself, and it's like, now I'm thinking to myself. In fact, now that I think about it while we're waiting, if you guys have a moment, Please head on over to the Adobe Creative Cloud blog. The fine people at Adobe did a blog about me and two other really talented um, YouTubers and artists. So please feel free to check it out. We go over how we make it on YouTube, how we make videos, our workflow, how long it takes, all that kind of stuff. And it is just a really cool article. And I think Adobe a lot for you know writing an article about us. That was really awesome of them. Anyways, second time I self-advertised. You're not gonna see that anymore. No more guys, no more self-advertising. Let's, let's do this tutorial now. So what we have here are all of our points. Now this isn't tracked yet. I mean, it is tracked, but it is not baked. It is not, we do not have a 3D camera in the scene yet. Dolly's over the shadow on the floor. So I'm gonna create my first right here. So we're gonna hit a create a new null and camera. The reason we're creating a null object is so we have position data on where I want my object to be in 3D space. So essentially, this isn't a 2D or 2.5D uh, motion track that you're used to with Mocha or the built-in After Effects tracker. This is an actual 3D camera track. So the null object essentially isn't moving. The camera is moving. So if we go into our front view, you can see here's the null object. And normally when we do a 3D, I mean, sorry, 2D camera track, the null object is moving towards the footage because it tracks the footage. But in this case, we have a camera that is emulating the movement of the drone that was, that was filming those trees or whatever you want to call it. So now if you look, we have a camera that is following towards the null object, which is what we want. So now we could do a whole bunch of cool stuff. So this is, this is the tutorial right here. I mean, you guys don't even need to keep watching if you want to, but I mean, it doesn't matter. You've watched this far, you might as well keep watching, right? All right, that's the attitude. So let's go on ahead and let's add some text. Let's add in ha 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 ha, blah, blah, blah. And let's go on ahead and make it 3D. So now that it is 3D, it is in 3D, um, 3D space. And the reason for this null object is I wanna be able to take the position, so I just hit P on the keyboard. I'm gonna copy the position of the null object and then hit P on the text. 
and paste it. So now this text is in the same spot as this null object. And I'm just gonna scale it up. But the thing is, is I, have the, I don't want the text to be on the floor. I want it to be floating. So let's move it here. You know what, let's have something better than ha ha ha. Do not go gentle into that good night. If you guys know that reference, you're amazing. If not, you need to watch some Christopher Nolan movies, guys. So scale that up, and now let's go ahead and add some motion blur and some motion blur, and I have this set at a 180 degree shutter angle. So that matches what the drone was recording with. So now, if we look, and if we uh, preview this, and boom, we now have 3D text. The camera goes above the text, and it looks completely photorealistic. I mean, not the text itself, but the camera movement. It, it is completely fluid, and it just looks like it's actually in the scene. Now, it's not just for text. You could add 3D effects, you could add explosions, you could do so much stuff with this, and it is really awesome. So, actually, you know what? Let's have it, I want the camera to go inside one of the O's. So let's move this up, and I'm actually gonna turn off the motion blur just to save some resources on my computer. And let's see, it's going, it's going, and I want it to go right through there. Right in the hole, boom, and right right through the G. Now that is awesome. And let's say for example, if you wanna add more elements to your scene and you don't wanna guess where to put it in 3D space, once again, you can hit your 3D camera tracker. And uh, let me see, let's say I want something right here. Now we don't have to create a camera because it's already there. We could just create another null object and I'll name this one foreground. Oh my goodness, my spelling guys. Foreground and then we'll name this one far away null. It's always good to keep your compositions clean, guys. That's what gets the ladies, like I said earlier. That's what gets, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Old Spice. And let's just go ahead and duplicate this text. And I'm gonna take the position of this new null object that we just made and paste it right here. And now, it is now in the foreground. So now the camera is gonna dolly or fly over this text as well. Now, this is really cool, but let's say if you wanna do something different. Let's say we don't even want the text. We wanna add some particles into the shot. Easily done. We could just go through here, and I have some uh, particle effects in 4K that I have, some stock elements, and I could just hit F4, make this additive, scale it up, and make sure that it is a 3D layer. Take my position, and hit P, paste the position, scale it up. So now if you guys can see, we have 3D particles now floating around in our scene. And as the camera dollies in more, we're slowly going close, moving closer towards the particles until they're completely out of frame, which is really awesome. So let's say if we want to duplicate it, move it over, slide it back, add some more particles, we can now do that because And look at that, overly cinematic particles. This looks like a Zack Snyder movie, guys. There's particles everywhere. And boom, 3D camera tracked particles in your shot. Now again, I wouldn't say this looks great, but it is tracked extremely accurate and it opens up limitless possibilities. And we can go on ahead and do a quick color correction, maybe a color balance along with a tint. Let's really make this look like a Zack Snyder film, guys. Add an extreme amount of contrast, blue shadows, warm highlights, and desaturate it a lot. And totally kidding, Zack Snyder, I love your movies, but they do look really desaturated like this. But anyway, you guys get the point of this tutorial. I hope it taught you guys a bit about 3D camera tracking. Again, you could do this with frozen in time effects, freeze frame effects, that possibilities are endless. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Justin Melson, and please feel free to subscribe for more After Effects, Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, and especially color grading tutorials. And I'm looking forward for you guys to watching those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.